What was on the site before was a building built by Camden Council, a housing block uh, from the mid to late 70s. Um, and then when you look at the context around, uh, immediately the opposite is the Highgate Newtown scheme by Camden Council, uh, which is still there, which is, uh, I think, a very, very nice uh, scheme, still is. Uh, and then around there, you've really got a sort of Victorian and Edwardian uh, London context with um, uh, terrace houses, uh, and then these kind of homes for heroes housing uh, on um, Chester Road, uh, and at least the, the library. So it's quite a rich context, and then you've got views onto the, the, the lower slopes of Highgate Cemetery. There has been, historically, there has been a, a tradition of, of councils developing, managing their own uh, residential stock. Um, I think in the last 20, 30 years that's become uh, less common, which, which is why this is unique in this project and it's coming back into the fore. Um, in terms of the footprint of the building, well, it, it makes sense. We think it's, the buildings should address streets. So naturally the building's three-sided nature of the site means you do tend to move towards a solution where you have a block per street. Um, but what we were careful to do in a way that we um, felt was important that the gaps between the blocks uh, articulated and animated the space within. So if it's, it is, whilst there are blocks facing onto the streets, it's not a fortress to the street. Uh, each, each of the blocks is either a continuation, so in Chester Road and Balmore Street, it's a continuation of the Victorian terraces. On Raiden Street, it's, it's a larger scale of building which then relates to the Whittington uh, estate opposite. Uh, the three buildings are arranged to create a, a courtyard or garden space in between and then to the east of the site is a public right of way which, which um, picks up on a historic route through the, through the site. As part of our design process we, we studied a lot of the original 1970s Camden housing typologies and, and really tried to draw on some of the characteristics and features of those. Um, so they were very generously proportioned, taller ceilings, um, some of them had double height spaces, um, they all had external space as well, which I think in any housing development is essential. Uh, the solution was a, a stacked maisonette, um, which is an interlocking section uh, of two bedroom units. Uh, it takes advantage of the slope of the site, um, but then maximises the efficiency uh, that we're achieving on there. We really were pushing the envelope on Pacifras. We were stretching its volume and, uh, and then at the same time uh, innovating on in the details. So um, I think it effectively is one of the largest Pacifras schemes currently in the UK. And what's interesting about it, it, doesn't, it shows that you don't need to uh, be constrained uh, by the kind of what seem to be really quite simplistic uh, principles. Hopefully it sets a good precedent.